Welcome back to WKRG News 5 at noon. The doctor is in. Today we're welcoming Dr. Brian Heller with the Southern Cancer Center. Dr. Heller, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me again. All right, we're talking about a topic a lot of people have interest in, cancer myths. We hear all kinds of information out there that's not true. And so today we're going to be debunking some of those myths. Let's start with the first one. Cancer is contagious. So first I want to say thank you for having this segment. I Cancer is very serious, mm -hmm. and everybody looks for answers wherever they can. Cancer is not contagious. Uh, uh, an ancillary myth to that is that we all have cancer in our body all the time. You absolutely cannot catch cancer. It is something that you have to accumulate several mutations over a lifespan often. Okay, let's, let's move to our diet. Uh, we hear this one, eating cancer will make my, um, excuse me, eating sugar will make my cancer worse. Well, see, it, it there is some truth, so I get asked, does sugar feed cancer? Mm -hmm. Well, it's like saying, does oxygen feed cancer? And me saying, well, yes, oxygen does, so you need to hold your breath. It's, it's going to hurt you before it hurts the cancer. When we eat anything, our bodies turn it into glucose or sugar to feed our cells. So sugar does not feed cancer or advance your cancer at all. What about artificial sweeteners cause cancer? So artificial sweeteners has been one of the most studied substances that we put in our food. Uh, there were early studies that showed in rodents where it, massive doses compared to their weight, for instance, a truckload of uh, aspartame that is put in many artificial sweeteners mm -hmm. could increase a small risk of cancer. It has never been shown in humans, though, and it is definitely safe. Okay, well, we have so many myths that we are going to go through on Facebook Live on WKRG's Facebook page right at 1230. But before we go, I just have a quick question for you. Are you seeing people putting off very important cancer screenings because of coronavirus? We absolutely are. We've noted that the incidence of cancer here in Mobile and Alabama is down, and it's because people aren't coming in. So I would encourage you to see your doctor, do your screening. All of the physicians' offices and hospitals in Mobile are set up for that, and they can see you very safely. All right, Dr. Brian Heller with the Southern Cancer Center. We'll see all of you on Facebook Live at 1230 on WKRG's page. Thanks, Dr. Heller. Thank you.